Hi everyone, it's Tom here from Hardsoft and welcome to another episode of my Tech Tips. Not feeling too great this week, so apologies for the voice. Today we're going to be looking at the control center on your iPhone and how you can customize it and use a couple of little quick things in there to make your life a bit easier. Most of you will be using the control center already by swiping down from the top right hand of the screen to the middle. And from here, of course, you can change things like your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your brightness as you need to. But you can customize this menu depending on your needs. If you go into the settings of your phone and then to control center, you want to make sure you've got allow access within apps ticked on there so you can use it whenever you need to but also you can customize what's going to be there. And there's some really useful ones that probably aren't gonna be there in the first place that you should really be using. The first of these is music recognition. Now you've probably used Shazam in the past. It's an app that recognizes songs that you're listening to but don't know the name of. Apple bought Shazam a few years ago and they've brought it straight into the iPhones through the control center. You don't need to download a separate app anymore. All you need to do is tap on that button when you're hearing a song you wanna know the name of, it's gonna to listen to it and tell you exactly what it is. There's even a little shortcut to Apple Music as well. It's so easy. There you've also got the low power mode function. So if you're running low on battery and you wanna save it and keep it going, you can switch on and off as you need to whenever you want. You have the little clock icon there, and if you want to set a timer for, say, I don't know, you're cooking something, you need to go and get something out of the oven in 10 minutes, instead of having to go through the clock app and set one itself, all you need to do is hold down on the little clock symbol, and you can drag up to set the timer as long as you need it to be. On the control center, you also have your torch. Now, instead of just switching it on and off, by holding down, you can change the brightness. So if you're in a room of other people, or I don't know, if it's been a long night and you don't want to wake anyone up, you can adjust the brightness to your needs. Thanks so much for watching this week's Tech Tips. Have a great rest of your day.